Okay, this is um, a, a real back to basics for somebody who's not very competent on the accordion. Um, it only occurred to me about a year or so ago, I was teaching somebody else to play who'd never played any music, uh, didn't know how to read music, and certainly never picked up one of these before. Um, he inherited it from his uh, father, I think father or grandfather, and uh, it, it was found in the attic, and, and he just felt he really ought to try and learn the instrument, almost like a, to honour the memory, if you like. But he'd never played anything in his life, so it really was um, a beginner's course. Um, we got him up and running probably in about six weeks, and he was doing really well. But one of the things he struggled with the most was bringing in the Stradella bass when he was playing with his right hand and, and being a very right-handed person to suddenly do something with the left hand is also difficult. <clears throat> we all know the old trick of when you, you pat your head and you circle your tummy, it, it's that coordination thing that he struggled with. So I thought I'll do a very, very basic lesson of how to bring that bass in bit by bit. Uh, it's the first video I've made for absolutely ages and I've, I've had a bit of a respite, per, firstly because I actually hurt my shoulder quite badly. Uh, not playing this, uh, it was actually, believe it or not, just reaching behind in the car um, and I tore my rotator cuff, so it's taken a little while to get back to playing uh, with a lot of physiotherapy and a lot of rest, so that's why I've been absent. But thank you to everybody who's left comments on my uh, video diary number one. Uh, that's really encouraged me to have another go at doing a video but I'm very out of practice. Um, so what I was going to just cover today really was how to, how to do this, how to coordinate one between the other and also the weirdness of playing buttons that you can't see, let alone a keyboard that's upside down. Now if I was going to a beginner I'd say always learn the tune first before you even worry about bringing in the bass to the accompaniment. And if you've learnt the tune and you know where it's going and you've got a good feel for it, then this will happen more easily. So um, I will be putting the piece of music up as well with this video, so you've got a link to it. It's actually a Vorjak piece, Largo. Um, very, very simple, very nice three, four time, and you can lilt it as much as you want or you can play it as straight as you want, it doesn't really matter, as long as you get that nice feel. Um, and I've chosen this also because it's got a very typical Stradella bass to it, which is that um, pa, pa, um, pa, pa, which uh, people expect to hear and which is actually very easy to do when you come to play it. So the tune, um, very, very simple. There's no black notes in it whatsoever. And you should find that fairly simple to learn. If you can read music, great. If you can't, then you can write out the notes on top of each one if you like, because it goes... It's only really from five fingers, so that's again really, really easy. Um, the other thing I like about this piece is that you go out for two bars and then you come in for two bars. Um, that again also makes it easier, So, because if you remember on an accordion you've got three things to think about. Um, the, the, the right hand, the left hand playing the bass, but also the in and out of the bellows. Now this piece of music you're going to come out for two bars and then you're going to come in for two bars. So again, it's probably the most straightforward piece I could find for showing you how to start. So when you come to play the bass on this, there are only two different chords to worry about. One is the C chord and one is the G chord. You play the C root note along with the chord, which is a C root note, and then the C chord. And then right next to that, using the same fingering of four, three, four, three, you've got the G chord. So just move up one button and you've got the G. And then you go back to the C. So that's not much to worry about there. So first of all, we're going to learn the tune. Um, and if it helps somebody who doesn't read music, I think I'll call out the notes. Okay, so starting with your third finger on the note E in the right hand. Don't worry about your left hand at all. All your left hand's going to do is pull your bellows in and out. And I'll call out the notes as we go. E, G, E, D, C, D, E, G, E, D, E, G, E, D, 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 So 
that's your basic timing. So obviously you'll see from the music uh, when you look at it that it's 3-4 time. You've, the, the rhythm is 2 beats, then 1, and then you hold it for 3, 2 beats, 1, hold for 3. You repeat that, and then you'll see there's what's called a tied note. So that means that the two bars, the note's tied, so you're holding that for a total of six beats. Basic stuff. Um, so that's your tune. Now, learn that off by heart as much as you possibly can. Try and play it without the music if you possibly can, but don't worry if you can't, because even I, who's played music for donkey's years, still have to look at music every now and again to find my way, because I'll, I'll lose it or I'll get distracted by a thought and have to find where I was. So... It doesn't really matter. It's whatever suits you. It's like everything. When you're learning an instrument, you do your own thing. Uh, a teacher will show you the steps. It's up to you to find how to walk. So, along with that, then, we'll learn the bass completely again on its own. Now, the bass chord, the actual root chord, is written above the bar. So you'll see there's a C along the first line that continues all the way through until there's a change, not before, and you'll see on the third line down it becomes the G. And then you go back to C, C for another line, G, and then C. C is the easy one to find, if you can remember. It's the one with the dimple in. Some people, it's actually a raise, it's like a little rhinestone in it, but your fourth finger will be on that C chord. Um, it's where I always recommend you go back to, if ever you take your hand away from the accordion, always come back, put your fourth finger on the C, you'll know you're in a safe place where you can start from no matter where you're going. So your uh, bass will go. Um, this is done in, in total 3-4 time. It doesn't have any tied notes in it at all, apart from at the very end. So you're going to play every beat of the bar, even though you might be holding these notes for more than one or two. So it's C. Both going out, then coming back. change to G, you're going to move up just one button and play the same rhythm. And coming back to the Go back to C. Bring it in. One more change. Slip up to that G. Last, you can hold the bass and the chord down together for the three, which makes quite a nice ending. So, playing that a bit more smoothly all the way through, it'll go like this. Part. Learn the tune, learn the bass, learn the tune, learn the bass. Don't try and put them together until you're really sure of what you're doing, especially when it comes to the Stradella bass, because it's so easy to slip or move your hand very slightly and end up playing the wrong notes, and you need to know exactly where you're going to go. A lot of the Stradella bass is what we call muscle memory. It's just knowing where to go all the time. The more you do it, the more that will sink in. You won't even have to think about it after a while. Um, and that will apply to, as soon as you extend to any of the other notes in the Stradella bass, even you're sort of going up to the A and the D, going up there and coming down. As long as you know where you are when you start, that's a good place. So, putting it back together again, and I would recommend doing this really, really slowly to start with. Literally, like, like a child learning. Take yourself back to how you would start your very first walk. <laughs> So really so in fact that wasn't very good, but that just shows you if we can all get caught out. So coming back in. Now comes the change. Back to the C. G. Okay, 
Okay, so I hope that helps um, and gives people confidence because I know that starting out on this instrument can be very daunting. It's not the easiest thing in the world and if you haven't played another musical instrument, of course, you've got other obstacles to overcome, like reading the music, let alone the physicality of this instrument, the weight of the instrument. Um, and if you're coming to it as an adult, you know it's much harder to pick things up, but you just have to keep cracking at it. It is worth it, and it's a deeply satisfying instrument to play. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this Back to Basics for the Bass video lesson. Thank you. Bye.